And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Barn Finders. I'm your host, JRPG Guys. We accepted this new little thing here to bridge storage. So it's going to cost us 100 shekels to get there because it costs two. So boom. And then let's go ahead and drive it. Let's see what this storage war is all about. <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks okay. Okay, so it's one of those things where you blindly buy storage units full of people's abandoned stuff or forgotten stuff, or they couldn't afford uh, to pay the rent. Okay, so before we do any of that, snoop around, shall we? I hear a doggo. Oops. I pressed something and I totally skipped through the tutorial. Great. Let's see. You living back with your uncle? That's some great news, brother. Why, thanks, friend. Okay, let's see. Well, barn finders, welcome to our special event. Miko, it's okay, we don't want to. I don't want to spend any money because we want to try to maybe win all the auctions here, if possible. Which is why I'm collecting this trash. This is like another twenty bucks, maybe worth of trash, because there's so much of it. <laughs> Y'all The name is Duke, old Freako. And stay away from my mama. Oh, you know what he's up to. I hear, I hear the sound of, of secret item. Faint. Nice. I see it, but use axe to destroy obstacle. <gasps> it's the holy paper. Oh, it's the holy poop paper. We might have to buy that upgrade. Okay, we might have to buy two upgrades. But first, let us buy some of these auction noble dumps here. I think there were. Is there just the one? I think it's just the one. All right, so let's get to it. Whatever we have left over, we'll use to buy the axe. Hey, young and that six hundred I owe you for the kick. I owe you a kick there. Whatever. All right, let's see here. Yep. We got it for 200 so far. Let's do a big one. Going big, baby. Come on, come on. Oh, man, this is half of our cash. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Nice. So we won with 625. Sweet. All right, now we can explore this this dump. I guess we're going to probably come back here multiple times to find stuff. I hear the sounds of goodies. Higher. Would you like to buy a levy band's tire? Which falls under auto parts. That's fine. Mm 
Let's see. Okay, there it is. Ooh, mag is it a poster? I'm gonna say magazine, but it's not. It's a poster or comic book. Nothing in there. You can see a little better on these shelves, but not by much. Some info maybe about the guy who owned this dump. Ooh. That's the Jamaha engine. Definitely taking that, right? Let me go serve that uh, motorbike. Alright, let's see here. That little tutor. <laughs> Seems like there's something here, but for the life of me, I could not tell you. Nothing there. Never know. Even checking behind stuff. I mean, look at look at that area we found earlier. You know. Oh, I hear it. Okay, so we're looking for a fuse. Could be up here. Could be back where that axe was. Let's look at the tools because it should work, beloved customers. Cash. Axe, shovel, lock pick. Buy the axe. Oh boy, Let's you buy a, a light. You see you later, partner. I might just need to unplug my controller and see if that helps. <laughs> Next episode here, but we're getting we're getting this. Oh yeah! Get it out of the way. I wonder if we can use this axe. No. Nope. Ah, there we go. Never be discouraged. Just keep checking. Ooh. Got some hubcaps. I'm tired. <gasps> Vehicle. Twelve hundred dollars for the Joe Quest four by four. The Joe Quest off road introduced September 18, sixty four is a rebadged Joe. <clears throat> is fitted with the turbocharged six sixty cc donkey K eight engine. Well, you bet your butt we're gonna mark that. There we go. So it costs us money. So it's important that we have some cash on us for stuff like that. This must all be stuff to the truck. There's a lot of shit here. In a good way, too. Anything back here? <gasps> What's this? The Yamaha front wheel. The Yamaha front wheel, my bad. Come, come to Papa. Get out of the way. So definitely got a lot of stuff to take back, especially with the car parts and the tires. Wish the we could park the truck a little closer to the freaking thing. It seems to have a meter of how many items are actually left, so... 
Like I said, we'll take as much stuff as we can. Especially the stuff that's large. Like this. It's 160 bucks. Take this. Let's see what we found. The summer car tire size 22.545.17. Reliable. Will get you anywhere or die trying. An engine for the classic John Hall motorbike contains a new barrel and piston with a chemically cleaned engine. The wheel. This wheel combines high end components with cutting edge design to offer a definitive wheel range. This gas pump machine takes advantage of high accuracy, convenient operation, and easy repair. I think we have to repair that. I could be wrong, though, and I'm not going to presume anything until I know for sure. Okay. <clears throat> this clearly looks like stuff for the car. Is there a way to just mark, mark for transport? I'm afraid that's going to get rid of it forever. Well, I think I think it would actually just transport the item. I don't want to do it on something that's a collectible that might be towards a fixing something, you know? If it's towards a little tiny thing I don't care about. Steering wheel is designed for use in a saloon or and rally cars with a deep dish offering for driver maximum control. Okay. <laughs> We're trying with this. Okay, okay, so that gets it to the truck. <clears throat> it's like a shock for the car. I was doing it the hard way. Okay. Let's go ahead and head down here. We got ooh, French wench. <laughs> got back here. Anything behind this? Nope. It's like a secret room where somebody was living. Whoa! Amadeus. Oh, I love him. Look at him. Look at him. He's gonna do a magic trick. Yeah. Get that. some cold ones all right so it's we're doing really good here get that hmm let's see Hidden tire. 
And look at that. All items collected. Nice. So the question is, is what else can we find that we've not found yet? I don't, I don't know. I think we found most everything, I want to say. Not seeing anything else. We can't take these with us, even if we wanted to. Uh, so let's head back, I guess, to the truck. And we'll take a look at what we've collected. Oh, we got ourselves a full... Oh, wow, we have lots of room on the truck. Okay. Okay, these are the same things, so let's do that. This is an original classic RZX wheel with more than 60 models available. They are produced using low pressure. Designed for suspension performance across all terrain, a TED suspension upgrade by BARF will provide noticeable improvements. Installation size MM170 width by 50 height, 50 height by 116 depth. Auto antenna comes with pause, repeat, and random play options. Designed to absorb some of the impact during a crash, saving you from serious damage to your vehicle and to yourself. <clears throat> Amadeus, get them right here, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages. The circus is about to begin. This television features a large 25-inch color screen, push-button controls with lighted number displays, and a brushed aluminum panel. Demon V... Demon V8. This is what I think we were supposed to find. This demon engine... Here's the newest, newest cylinder head, the M8, thanks to the engineers at George Plus Performances. Okay, so we've, we got a pretty good uh, uh, load here. I guess we'll head back, since so we literally can't find anything more. And we barely had enough money to, to haul this guy away. So no, look at another completed map. I know it seems like I'm taking a long time to explore these places, but this is how we find this stuff, you guys. You gotta take your time and make sure that you're you're you know you're take you're 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 witnessing everything there is to see. What am I doing? Oh. And by doing so, we'll be able to. You know, find lots and lots of stuff. Build cleaning station. So we don't have any money yet. So let's go ahead and make it a brand new day. <clears throat> I thought he was doing something to some sheep there. All right. Cock my doodle do. Um... Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Aha, <laughs> nice. Um, okay. So we clearly have a few things to look at here. Is there anything we can do to this? Probably not. Not without upgrades. Like the repair station and the assembly station. Ooh. We might be able... Okay, so here's what we need to do for sure. We need to make enough money to build the repair station and the assembly station. And all we got to do for the repair station is buy the upgrade tool. Which we don't have enough money for right at this exact moment. So let's do something akin to placing some items here. Wow, that's a full load. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and open the store and sell what's here. <clears throat> and see if we can get enough cash to get that upgrade gun. We'll sell pretty much off everything we got. To a degree. La, la, 
Let's do it. I am a Let's do it. I am a Let's do it. I am a uh, yeah, we'll sell that. Cool man. Is there somebody out there thinking about the car? <clears throat> Let's see here. Nice. Sweet. I like how it's kind of glitching out there, too. <laughs> God, it is a charm. Hmm. MIB serves to protect mostly Maiko. Yeah, he's why? Why does he show up? He never buys anything. Hmm. Oh, get out of my shop! You're not buying nothing. Get out. Hmm. No, really, dude. Get get the hell out of my shop. If you ain't here it's to buy, then you're here it's to leave. No, really, dude, leave. Get the hell out of my shop. What the hell? What was that all about? Was he gonna steal something? I have a feeling he was probably trying to steal something. That's eh, a little bit of money. A little too happy about that. Okay, we don't really have much to sell. We've got three hundred and ninety dollars. But we'll we'll try to sell everything we've got because clearly we're gonna need some money for traveling and expenses to bring stuff back to the shop. Now, we sh if we shut the shop down, we could get the thing that we really need. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably do. So let, let's shut the shop down for a moment here. So we can get that gun. Let's turn this in as well. So that's some cash, too. 403. Yes. All right, we'll come back and check that out in a moment. Welcome to Miko Shop. Let's buy the upgrade that's gun. Your customer. No return. Which allows us to do all kinds of stuff. Use it to custom uh, with upgrade gun. You can customize your pawn shop. Use it to customize shelves, walls, floors, and posters. Build stations to clean, repair, and assemble items. Okay. Well, how much is this station? This station looks like it's free. It's not. It's three hundred something dollars. Yeah. Okay, let's do what we know we can fix. We know we have a couple broken objects, I believe, so... Oh, damn. $800. Okay. Uh, what's this guy? $700, which we, again, still don't have. That thing is dirty as hell. I wonder if the cleaning station would actually help that. Um, I don't think so. Okay, we still we need some more cash. Okay, that's just the bottom line. We need more cash. We've got six hundred and nineteen dollars on us. Let's check the next story thing here. Hearing weird dreams lately, DC aliens. Do you live in a pawn shop with your good for nothing uncle? If your name is Butson, if you said yes to all of these questions, that means someone is spying on you while you sleep. We don't know who it is, but pay us one million dollars and we may not tell your nasty little secret to the entire world. Oh, God. Okay. Clint 
Pug Pig Pusher. Look for Butch the Champion. I know no one would take this job besides you guys. Some birdie told me that a classic butt butch model can still be found around quiet woods how about it by the way uncle billy you still owe me 50 bucks you shit <laughs> um okay we can accept the job but we'll do this instead let's go to um barnhub.com it costs nothing to travel to red barn so let's travel to red barn use the rest of this episode to kind of get a mild buffer i got the mic too close to me sorry guys but we use the uh yeah kind of see what we can find here at the barn now that we can move things around faster because i know what i'm doing uh and see if we can in a sense get some more free shit because we can destroy everything now in our way I have a feeling most of anything we're going to find is going to be inside the barn. Or, well, maybe not. Now, this means we got to look everywhere, don't it? Alright, what's back here? Seems still like a whole lot of nothing. All right, let's go inside. Again, there's probably not going to be that much to find. We're just looking for anything that they would give us like this. And this. of a bus though when you think about it I mean there is a little bit here I shouldn't call it a complete bus so they found a few things it's probably it too Yeah, a revisit was not, this is kind of a mild dud. Unless we find something on the roof. <laughs> Which there probably isn't, so I'm not going to bother. Just another perspective. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything else, so... Luckily, it was free to come. It says, no, it says there's items. It says there's at least two. Let's snoop around a little bit more. You never know what you're going to find. Uh... Ah, come on. Get a little closer. Nothing up there. Must be outdoors, because we... I thought we checked the barn pretty good. Oh, you know what? Right here. We even saw the dude drop that table there. There we go. Let's head back to the pawn shop. <clears throat> Down at the pawn shop. We'll be having some fun at the pawn shop. <laughs> there we go. I 
should read those errors better. All right, so we got a little bit more. Two hundred bucks to build some of these other placements. Most of it is just more floor units. As wall units are. I guess there's a way to upgrade the shelf for cosmetics. Yeah, it's, I think it's mostly just cosmetics. Okay, so we won't want to really mess with that. Really, I think the biggest thing we could upgrade, to be honest with you guys, is going to be what's outside. And we're short. We're still short, you know, the money to do that. So I think our best bet... Is to repair the the workstation, <clears throat> which is about 800, you know, shekels. And the reason we probably want to build that repair bench is because that's going to be like we're we're probably sitting on a handful of things that we could put there and sell or sell there rather. And so in order for us to make money with it, we got to get to the part about selling it. Um. Uh, so with that said, this is a great place for us to stop right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Studios for more live gaming action. When we come back, we're going to tackle another job. I know we could check out American Dream, but I'm going to wait till we have like the repair shop and, and some of the other stuff going before we probably go do that. Because chances are we're going to need that. It's all expansion stuff. So I would assume that we might want to wait on that. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you guys next time.